Hey guys, this is W Rocker. I'm just K here back with another video. This is gonna be a discussion like video. This is my thoughts on why SmackDown is better than Raw. Now the SmackDown after SummerSlam, you could clearly tell was a million times better than Monday Night Raw. We had Bobby Roode make his debut on SmackDown against Adam English. That was a complete shocker. Um if you saw the photo beforehand, someone ended up getting a picture in the SmackDown arena that showed Rude. So it was kind of leaked that he was going to make his debut. Truly thought he was going to debut at the very beginning of the show, and he didn't. And then halfway through, he made his debut, which made it a little more shocking. We also had Sheldon Benjamin coming back. A guy that was supposed to come back right after the brand split ended up getting injured. Canceled that. No one even knew he was in WWE's radar anymore. He made his return. Also, if you're looking at SmackDown, just rivalry rise, they're giving them so much time to invest into the rivalries. Every rivalry has at least three matches on pay-per-view, and maybe four or five depending on the show. And also, the belts change very frequently. The tag team belt went from Usos, New Day, Usos. We also had the US belt. It changed on a house show, making SmackDown more of a show that you even want to see if it's not going to be broadcast live because now you know that there's a possibility of a title change. Never before did you have to worry about that at a house show, really, but now SmackDown might be doing it. That makes you even want to buy a ticket. On top of that, they have a better women's division. Not that the talent on Raw is bad because the talent on Raw is kind of it's honestly better than smackdown but here's the problem raw only uses three to four divas we have nia Jax, sasha banks bailey alexa emma maybe right now other than that can you name three other divas on raw you can't you truly can't and then on smackdown Every single diva is used. You see Becky Lynch every week. You see Natalia every week. You see Naomi every week. You have Lana and Tamina making some kind of, you know, group up back there. And they're making it feel like the women are actually a bigger part of the show. And women have actually main evented SmackDown at least three times since the brand split. And Raw has only had that done once. And that was truly to only make history during the Sasha Banks and rivalry, uh, Sasha Banks and Charlotte thing that was going on. The bad side of SmackDown. It's only two hours long. SmackDown could go for three hours. I would rather see SmackDown for three than Raw. Another bad thing about SmackDown is a lot. some of the NXT talent to be called up just still hasn't found their place yet. Mojo Riley, Zack Ryder, Ty Dillinger. I mean, Maria and Mike made their debut, and where have they been? I mean, they just said online that uh, Mike was battling addiction to painkillers, so that could possibly be why he hasn't been on TV for a while. There's also a lot of SmackDown guys that we just don't see used, but truthfully, I feel like SmackDown uses more of their talent than Raw. Now, here's the Raw side of it. Raw is a good show. There's times where it's three hours, I'm like, wow, you put on a good show that could have been on pay-per-view, and there's times that I'm an hour and a half in saying, why am I wasting my time watching Raw? Raw, they have a much bigger roster, an extra hour, they have the cruiserweight division, which they don't even care for, nor use at all, uh, uh, really, except for Neville and Tozawa. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I'm every now and then I see Brian Kendrick on TV, I'm like, oh, I forgot he was part of WWE again. So, even though Raw has all these talents, I mean, they have John Cena now, they have Brock Lesnar, they have Roman Reigns. I don't, like, you see Roman Reigns main eventing every week. John Cena's gonna main event every week. Brock Lesnar comes around once every two to three months to defend his title. So, really, you know, what are you gonna do with Raw here? I mean, you can main event pay-per-views, but if Brock isn't gonna defend the title, what are you main eventing them for? Really, what? Because there's just really nothing there. I mean... The fact that Miz was left out of SummerSlam shows that Raw only cares about their big name people and not the belts. I mean, the Hardy Boys, where were they? Yeah, they opened the arena before people were in. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they came back during WrestleMania, but let's just throw them underneath the bus. I mean, right now, the, the Raw tag team spot is really the only thing better than SmackDown because SmackDown doesn't have too many tag teams right now. But other than that, this is why I think SmackDown is better than Raw. If you agree with me or disagree with me, leave it in the comments below. I would love to know what you think about this. So make sure to like this video and subscribe because there's always more to come.